Last week, we moved the Maverick to its new home at Mike Fennell's shop here in Saugus, California. Got the thing on the lift, and two guys that I trust gave me the thumbs up to keep moving. So this week, we're moving. Howdy, Jason Lewis here, and today on the Viper Powered Maverick Project, I'm gonna be yanking the engine and transmission out of this thing. I'm gonna get this stuff out so I can get a look at the oil pan issues. Now, the oil pan that I have in there right now sits about three inches off the ground, and I want this car to be a little bit more practical than that. So we're gonna go ahead and take the combination between the Viper car oil pan and a Viper truck oil pan and see if we can combine the two and get me the ground clearance that I need to make this car a little bit more streetable. This camera on my head, you might wonder, is going on here? It's a GoPro, we all know what those are. This cool little head mount is what I'm gonna wear for some of the install so you can get a kind of a mechanic's eye view. Well, if it were on a mechanic, you'd get a mechanic's eye view, but it's gonna be on my head, so you're just gonna get a Jason's eye view of some of the build, and I'll see if I can be a little bit more creative with the videos in the future documenting the buildup of the old Viper-powered Maverick. So first we're gonna get the radiator out of this thing. And this is just a temporary bracket that I made to hold it in. So I'm just gonna get, go ahead and yank this out, keep it safe. <laughs> that there's Mike Fennell. This is his shop. Thank you, Mike. about setting up in a shop with so much history like Pennell's place here is that there's just these randomly awesome things. Look what I just discovered right next to where the Maverick is. I don't know if you can see this. I'll get a closer from the second, but it looks like some sort of heavy drag motor that goes in this rail right here. Look at that thing. Hey, come on. Lift with your back, not with your legs. Those are strong. Back is weak. You gotta get that strong. Okay, let's get the engine out of this bad boy. So we got the engine out of the car. It's not that big a deal on this car, and that was part of the design process of what I actually built the thing and put it together was to be able to get that out pretty easily and now even though it's been a long time to for me to do that it didn't it wasn't all that dramatic especially with the help of my friends uh, next up is going to get this bell housing off we're going to take a look at the flywheel and kind of take a little quick inventory on what's going on here and we'll get the thing on a stand and uh, start figuring out what we're going to do with the uh, camshaft swap and uh, the things that we can do right now right here on the motor to, before we have to go spend a bunch of money So getting the engine up on the stand was very helpful, not just because I have to get the oil pan off and do some work here, but also so I can flip it over and dump the dog food out of the intake galley. Yeah, this giant rat moved into this car and stole a whole ton of food from my dog and stored it right there. And then it was time to get the oil pan off and compare the two oil pans I have here and figure out what the best plan of attack is. For now, the plan is to take the deep sump pan over to my friend Elia at GemFX and see what he comes up with. In the meantime, I'm going to catch up on some finish welding in the engine compartment now that it's wide open again. But what I'd like to know from you, my YouTube viewer friends, 
Would you like to see longer videos or should I just keep putting these videos out whenever I get something kind of substantial done? I'm excited for the fact that I'm moving forward on this project again and I'd like to bring along as many of you people who care to watch with me. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below and we'll see you next time.